If you are excited for more of what Disney and specifically Marvel Studios has in store for us later this year, and of course for the next couple of years, we got some good news. As the announcement of Disney Plus Day has been made, and there's already a lot of buzz and anticipation of what we can expect. So I think most of you know by now that Disney has taken a different approach to how they now market different things. They used to kind of have just one show where they would toss everything out, all ages, everything they had, and there it was, right? But now we see that they're taking different approaches as it comes to streaming, when it comes to films, when it comes to children's programming, when it comes to whatever else. Again, they got Star Wars specific events, they got events specifically for films, then they got the investors calls where they do a little bit of everything, and they have Disney Plus Day, which is now becoming a annual event where they literally reveal what's coming up in the next year, but on top of that, they make major announcements. Well, ahead of this year's D23, which is set for September, we just found out that right in front of it, the day before D23 starts, will be Disney Plus Day. Now, if you're keeping track, typically Disney Plus Day was around the last two months of the year because, again, Disney Plus launched in the fall slash winter. But again, things are changing now. So this year, we can expect Disney Plus Day officially to kick off D23 on September 8th, which is pretty awesome. Now, this is supposed to be one of those big shows for Disney where, again, we're going to start running out of content that they announced. So this one, we are anticipating that there's going to be some pretty significant announcements made for projects that are currently shooting, for projects that are going into production, and multiple other announcements. You know, the Werewolf by Night special is expected to be there. An announcement of Daredevil has been rumored, and since that's supposed to start shooting after Echo, this would honestly make sense, since Echo is going to wrap production right around this time. There's also been rumors that we could get major announcements of more returning actors to the previous roles they played, such as Frank Castle, The Punisher, being played by John Bernthal and whatever. And there's, of course, various other possibilities. New Star Wars content would be a given, since, again, it is Disney+. Plus. I would assume kind of like a first look at things instead of more announcements, considering the Star Wars just literally unloaded during Celebration Weekend. So there's definitely going to be a lot of hype here. Now, the big major announcements that I've seen some people kind of teasing relate to things that nobody can confirm. So that's just going to remain in the rumor stage. I'm honestly expecting nothing related to the X-Men other than the animated series. But as we get closer, I'm pretty sure leaks and a couple things will hit us and then we'll talk about those then. Overall, though, it's going to be a pretty big week for Disney in that early part of September, and I cannot wait.